Hi, my name is Daniel Platt, and today I want to talk about how I connect to MySQL. Now, assume you've got MySQL installed. If you haven't, then check out the video how to uh, install it on macOS. And what we can do is connect locally, and we can run our commands quite merrily on the terminal. I know what I'm doing, and I, I don't really like this way. I mean, it's good, gets you in there certainly useful for a remote server. But there is an alternative, and I've touched on it before in another video. What it is, is SQL Pro. So instead of me typing the commands onto the terminal, I can then, I can use SQL Pro to connect. And this worked really well up until about 2017, 2018, when it also introduced extra columns like JSON, which are really handy. But the problem was SQL Pro wasn't geared up for it. And so if you had a database that had a JSON column, you couldn't export your data. And I found it frustrating to say the least. There was a solution. The SQL Pro people had already solved some of these problems and on their website, they had a nightly build section or test builds. And what you could do is some of these you could actually download and that would give you access to the latest features. The trouble with that is it wasn't entirely stable. So they fixed some things and broke other things. But it worked. With MySQL 5.7, at least I could access JSON databases again or export them, or import them. But the final nail in the coffin was MySQL 8. That's when they introduced the new authentication scheme, and it made sense to set up new databases with the new scheme, but SQL Pro couldn't do it. And there wasn't a test build that would handle it. It didn't help that they were struggling to find people to uh, build the systems for them, the latest version of SQL Pro from the test builds. And you can see that some of these test builds aren't actually being uh, processed. In fact, the, the last one was from one year three months ago. There isn't anything, anything sooner. So that was it. I had to try alternatives, and I found a couple. I wasn't amazingly impressed with them. I mean, there were some really good ones, that, but they wanted you to pay a, a, buy a subscription. And I wasn't 100% comfortable with that, certainly with my own open source stuff. From the company point of view, uh, being an employee, I could ask them to, to buy something. But, but that felt wrong. I mean, we had such a great product. SQL Pro, and it was amazing, and it felt more polished than some of the, the paid-for stuff. For the time being, I was limited to doing, to using the terminal for the, the heavy lifting. So if I needed to restore or back up and restore a database, I was using MySQL dump and the MySQL command to run it. And this worked. I didn't need to pay for extra software. What happened very recently, I don't know when, is somebody else has taken the source code for this. All this source code is fully available in Git. And what they've done is forked the repository and made their own project. So it's still based on SQL Pro, but they've improved it and made it much better. So if I type in SQL Ace, their domain name redirects directly to their repo. In fact, actually, they do have a domain name. Yeah, it's less exciting than the SQL Pro one. But they do have a product, and it's awesome. And the best thing about this is it's actually set up to push the updates through the App Store. So SQL Ace, you can download from the App Store, which means you'll get the latest updates. So here is... SQL Ace, and it looks exactly like SQL Pro. 
The only difference is they've got a new icon, which, uh, to be fair, I prefer the old one, the SQL Pro one, but I know for re their reasons they can't use it. And SQL Pro, uh, and SQL Ace is exactly the same as SQL Pro in all the good ways. But it's up to date. It now works with MySQL 8. It works with a JSON column. It it seems to be fully supported and actively maintained. And it's awesome. So we can connect to it. We can choose our databases. We can do everything that we could. And it works exactly like a Mac application should. As far as I'm aware, they don't make an application for another platform. Which means they're thinking entirely about the Mac user experience. Whereas other applications that do database connections, they're actually multi-platform. So they do Windows, Linux, and Mac. So they have a common source code, probably Java, which means the user interface is sort of like secondary consideration. And it, it, makes for a be it doesn't make for a good experience on the Mac. I mean, yes, you can. they can polish it a little bit. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is SQL Ace is awesome. It's free. Support, the, support them. Use their software. If you're new to databases, then SQL Ace is going to be a perfect application to install to help explore your database. If you're a seasoned user, then I still recommend it because it does a lot of things right there. It just allows you to explore your database. And you can still drop down into the terminal if you need to. I still use the terminal for some things. But with SQL Pro, I'm going to have to get used to that. With SQL Ace, I can actually connect not only on my local machine, but I can tell it to connect to remote servers and pre preload in all the connection details, which works really well for me because I can then have a list of servers. So on my work computer, I have a list of favorites down the side. I just double click on the one I want and off I go. I mean, with SQL Ace, you're also not limited into what you can do. We can create new fields. We can also create indexes. And you can also look at the contents of your, your database, as well as create new records. Uh, but the main reason I like it is because it actually feels like a Mac application. And I can export my database, and then I can import it again. And it's just made my life a lot easier. I hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next video.